Sal, nice game, nice game. Um, how did you feel playing that match? A little tight, actually. We had to sit around for about two hours before we got started and uh, get up, try and get going. Break was, wasn't working real good, but a uh, little weak. Recovered a couple times, made one real nice out in the middle there where he rolled out, and I think that was a turning point of the match. Yeah, actually, um, Mike probably watched more of that match than I did, so, you know, why don't you pose the question to him? The question. In every break you had, you almost went dry. Why didn't you compensate slightly on that? Because I don't like to cut break on the small table like this. The cue ball gets hit around too much. A lot of guys not getting shot on the one. I'm going to take my chance to get a shot. The last one right there, I mean, if a one or the nine drops, it's, it's over. It's so close on that nine ball, too. Like I said, the, the, uh, the one ball bank where he rolled out, it was a good out. That was, uh, that was pretty clutch in the middle of the match. I think that turned it around. And, I have to ask. I have to ask you about one of the greater shots I've seen under stress and, and pressure. That one ball bank. Good lord, that was some guts, Sally. Well, I mean, I couldn't leave it for him. I know he can hit it. And uh, like I said, uh, on a bar table, you know, you've got to shoot. Hopefully, you don't make any uh, mental errors, miss balls. You know, he, he missed that two trying to move the ball at the end, and that's you know, that's the match. So. Yeah, you overhit that two. If you would soft hit it, I think it would have gone. But that one ball was great shot, man. Great shot. Nice man. Thank you. All right, well, good luck to Sal Butera, who moves on um, on the winner's side of this event. And we're going to start this match right now between uh, Phil Tatum and uh, Danny Reese. So kick back, relax, enjoy the Danny, show. Phil, You're watching Danny, Phil, Phil, the Andy Mercer, 23rd annual Andy Mercer Memorial Tournament here. Hosted by the Rum Runner in Las Vegas. Can we ask these people to move? And um, we got a big we thanks got goes to right Thank you. Gino Hill and Gordon Hill, the brothers who uh, run the joint here. And you are watching POV Pool, sponsored by Kamui Tips and the Orange County APA League. Very grateful to our sponsors for giving us the opportunity to run this stream. How many viewers we got right now, Daniel? Well, we're about 275, 275 right 275 on a Friday late afternoon, not bad. That's right. And we appreciate so that, all of you watching this. Oh, sure. Okay, so I'm Justin's going back. to uh, run around and be a producer for a little while. And J Justin Archer's going to come back and join you guys. And, you know, if you'd like, we can also take a survey on what angle of the, uh, the table you guys like best. Um, and I'll come back and find out in about two minutes. And I will switch to the angle that you guys do like the best. So in the chat room, let us know what shot you want. Like Thanks, Justin. Justin Archer, you said instead of Acker. Oh, it makes me oh did I say Justin Archer? Doug IEF, Justin I don't Acker. think uh, Darren had a problem with the rack. He was making balls every time. Is that what you're referring to? You're welcome, Lethal Weapon. Nice to see you with us. Okay, we got to vote for the other view. When Daniel gets back, we'll let him switch it. If I touch one of those switches and screw this up... <laughs> I will never hear the end of it, so be patient. So, am I assuming sure. that this gentleman is at, at the switch right now? Uh -huh. Who have we got? That is Phil Tatum. That's Phil Tatum. Elbow on the table kind of guy. He is. He's a tall gentleman. He needs all the leverage he can get. And he is, you know, one of the most energetic players you'll see. He's very, very excited when he wins a game. It's nice to see him here. I could see the emotion in just that oh, shot. Yeah. Oh, this guy's yeah. having a wonderful time. I would take off that magic rack right now, though. Just it, Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just sitting there. Yeah. If you get, a, you get a slow roll and it drops it offline. But I think he's so, look like he's so zoned in right now. He doesn't... I think you're right. Yeah. He's just happy to be at the table, and he's going for it. I tell you, Phil Tatum is one heck of a nice guy. He's tough. He's going to have to bring it back here and get on that 5-9 because he's going to look at that combo. Got such a short bridge. Ooh. He's 
not happy with that. He's definitely not happy. And now the magic rat comes off the table. It's not magic anymore. Not magic. Let's see what Danny Reese does. And hello to you out there, GTB Nine Ball. Thanks for saying hello. Hey. The old view or the new view? Not the view that's up, you like the other one. So right now the vote is one for the other view and one for the existing view. Oh, actually it's two for the original view. Yeah, okay. you're right, yeah. So Vegas it's cabbie. Two, it's a two zip lead for the other view. Ah. That. Oh. Ah, he's gonna play the short side in the side round. <laughs> He's right, Phil. Wow, 23 years. Phil Tatum has played in all but one Mercer. That's incredible. Really? Yeah, he's a legend. Oh, my God. Uh-oh, right off the... the uh, is it legitimate to say Teddy? Yeah, we. Uh, Daniel actually said it earlier, so I, we're okay. That's as long as I, I said it, and I, I quickly caught myself, and then Danny went back and said it, so I said, hey, it's all right. Then. I vote for any view. Kevin Kidd. <laughs> Kevin Kidd <laughs> loves pool. I like it. All right, Kevin. Have any 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 view? I think I like the other view too. I'm looking here on the uh, sure. computer. But they both were. The only thing is we can't get dead on the the head or the foot of the table. The layout in here is such that we're three quarters either at the bottom or the top. Well, I yeah. think either you and I would be out from here. This uh, looks maybe you, maybe you. No. <laughs> oh, I'm pulling. I'm pulling the cue ball up slightly to shoot the six ball with a stop shot here in the corner. Uh -huh. Then seven, eight, nine, and he's going down. To, oh, it's a oh ball in hand. Why are you coming down on the ball? You know, I think I. I don't like that. You know, Mike. Sometimes these with the local players knowing that you're on the stream. It changes your game. You think that really has, it has some effect? You're, now you have, you're in the limelight right now. You have viewers watching. You have commentators. It's 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 a different aspect. Some people thrive on it. Some people like you know make uh, some critical mistakes. That's very interesting because you'd think that a, a credible pool player, mm -hmm. amateur or pro, would just filter out everything. You're playing pool, and the only thing you see is the table and the ball. Sure. Sure. And I, Ostensibly, but I haven't been in front of this stream either, so... No. <laughs> I, I was one time in uh, in South Korea. I was uh, on, a, on a televised match. And, well, heck, uh, you can't understand what they're saying anyway, yeah, so it no, didn't no, matter. I, I speak Korean and fluently. Oh, do you really? Yes, I, my, oh, wow. my wife is I lived in Korea for eight years, studied martial arts over there for about eight years. My wife and I owned a nightclub over there for a while, Oh, my too. God, how cool is that? Yeah, I had a time of my life. I uh, got into... Uh, professional billiards actually living there because um, Charlie Williams and his events came over there to Korea and then uh, it just escalated and uh, I tell you it's it's oh geez oh you don't want that oh no no, no. I think we've got a case of jitters on both sides right now absolutely I, you can see it inside you can see it I mean any way you shake it you see it any way you shake it, it at, costs at, them $200 to pop in here. Sure. We're up front, and sure. we're also on the stream, like uh -huh. you said. So uh, <laughs> the hand begins to shake slightly, kind of like Stevie Moore's backhand. You ever see Stevie's backhand? Yes. Shakes like a leaf. It does shake. And, you know, uh, Daniel was just talking earlier about his, uh, the, he picked up from Stan Shuffett the new uh, CTI, or CTE, excuse me, I think it's CTE um, shooting style. It's uh, the new um, uh, system that he's been practicing and he's been teaching a lot now and I guess it's been really approving a lot of players. Oh, Stevie? Yeah. Yeah, he was telling me the same thing. Yeah. Telling me the same. And he mentioned it because I mentioned that I asked him about the arm. I didn't want to be impolite. Sure. But apparently he says it, it appears they can't put a pinpoint on it, okay. but it appears that from the stress in the neck from playing pool all the time wow. that he's got a pinched nerve in there someplace. Wow. You know, uh, Stevie has uh, run out media put together a, a poster for Stevie to promote his uh, his um, teaching Excellent. and his, uh, you know, on this thing like if you look at it from a distance you come up to it you think it's like a modeling picture <laughs> it looks like he's modeling you know he's a mo model it's so funny but then you get up and you're like oh he teaches pool and uh, 
he takes his time and uh, he works with the, each student. And I've heard nothing about great reviews from from students of his. You know, just excited and and, and he advanced their game and stepped up the level. He's. You know, I wonder if he's responsible uh -huh. for the whole routine that Stevie does. I noticed it up at the Ito where he stands back, looks at it, gets down, lines the shot up, and then he stands and he just says one foot forward and shoots. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Is that the entire thing that I, he's being taught? I, you know, that's good. I haven't really learned the system too much. Uh, I've been pushing students into his direction that I know here because I, I know pretty much everybody in, in Las Vegas and the local scene. Um, there's a couple great teachers out here. Max Everly lives out here, uh, promoting, uh, giving lessons, and uh, you know he's got a couple videos out himself. Uh, Max is a, a great guy, nice guy, and, really uh, nice guy. Rodney Morris is out here, and I tell you, you can see the distinct pat differences in each of their teaching styles. It's it's great. I, me being an ex elementary school teacher, you know, we all have our different, you know, styles of teaching, and you can see it incorporated in the pool too. Total two totally different styles of play when you have Max who's very deliberate, takes his time, and Rodney, if you sneeze, you missed about four shots. <laughs> you do. Rodney's so good for camera, and uh, you know, and I think, like, Max, Max is uh, it's like an ambassador of a pool, you know? I mean, he definitely fits the description of a pool player. He looks great, you know, and, you know, it's, it's I'd like to see him more on TV. He's also an excellent artist. Have you seen oh, his artwork? Yes. That boy is good. I met Max years ago. He actually, in Korea, actually. That's where I met him. Uh, and he came over for a tournament. Ah. You guys got feed out there. I saw an input from uh, Hackertz about a BK flash crashing. Can everybody see the feed okay? Okay, oh, thanks, Big Thank Appreciate it. Yeah, I like that. Uh, it's a crapshoot who's like, going to yeah. win this tourney. Is like that a that. play on words for Las Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> but he's right with these tables. I mean, the pockets are lee cut. They're huge. I, even I'd feel... I was going to say, I could even run racks on this Seriously. table. I, I, when I played my match last week, I was down 5-3. He scratched. I broke and ran out the set. I'm thinking I'm invincible. And, uh, was that here? Yeah, it was here. Right oh, on wow. table number two over there. Oh, my God. And uh, ever since then, I couldn't make a ball. But I'm happy because the guy that beat me, Derek Lorcher... He was on the one last side with me, put me out of the tournament. He won 11 straight. Derek won 11 straight on the loser side to win that Good match. Good Lord. He won the tournament he won from the, the tournament. loser side, just like Jason did last that's week. Right. Wow. So that's right. anything's matches. possible. And, you know, he beat the he had to, it's true double elimination. So he beat uh, Tim Cole, actually came in second. Tim Cole's another local player, great player, great mind for, for pool. And uh, he beat Tim. Um, both sets. He was. Uh, wow. Tim went up one nothing. Derek ran. Bro, uh, clear net ran out the set. A B player. Were people voting in the chat room about the? It's what? other view. Other view. We're switching views. Dan Daniel's taking it. You want to switch it now? Yeah. Oh, you already did. Oh, we'll see it in a moment. I think. I don't know. Oh, this big niz says. Uh, it's a nice view. Great nine ball. No, I'm not playing in the tournament this week. I'm just going to be here annoying you guys as a commentator and taking some great photos to get some posters up for you people to buy. And just to let you know again, it, um, oh, there it goes. Okay. And just okay, to let we you got know, this, this is, uh, this tournament is going to stop around 930, I think 10 o'clock tonight. And then we're going to leave it live stream for the rest for, he's going to try to go 24 hours on this, Mike. And so people can watch some action going on. I got a feeling, since this is Las Vegas, that there's going to be some money flowing <laughs> after 9.30. A I few look, people want to see some good stuff. Do you see uh, anybody around here that, that likes to gamble? No, I don't <laughs> see any pool players. Shane Van Boning, he doesn't play for money. He's no, just a no. gentleman all the way. Ha ha. And I'll, I'll bet you, uh -huh. Justin, 10 bucks that Jason tries to get me down on one pocket on one of these little tables tonight. <laughs> Do you, can you play one pocket on the small tables? That's a good question. I, I don't know. I don't. I you know. I, I was very lucky in New York when I. Um, Doug, yes, best billiards is uh, barely still open. Um, it is still open. Yes. Well, we got to vote for the other view now. 
it's kind of six one half dozen other. It just depends whether you want to be at the foot of the table <laughs> or the head of the table. Watching. Shane will watch this event. He'll watch every. He doesn't care. It's like the old Efren style. He will play anybody, watch anybody, and and that's important. These are seven foot diamonds. These are bar boxes here. So definitely, they're a heck of a lot shorter than the uh, the nine footers. But the pockets are actually slightly wider than the standard pocket on a nine footer. How tall is the guy breaking? Uh, he's like six foot four, six to yeah. Bill Tatum. He's got to watch out for those lights. Right now we have a tie ball game. It's one one. Danny Reese, Phil Tatum, both from Las Vegas, Nevada, here at the 23rd annual Andy Mercer Memorial Tournament at Lot in Rum Runner Lounge. Rum yeah. Runner is actually a famous uh, Packer backer bar, Green Bay Packers. They're from Wisconsin. They got the, I don't know, Mike, if you ever tried the burgers here? Not yet, but incredible. That good? I'm Wisconsin in. Angus in. beef. Oh, I was, I'm from Wisconsin, so. $3.99, you get to make anything. Get out of here. They're huge. And you get to you get to choose your fixings. I mean, it's it, it, it's. I can tell you what I'm going to be eat for dinner, and I will not eat it while I'm talking on the stream. I promise you guys. <laughs> last last time at the Edo, there were some comments on that. I apologize. They got uh, some good cheese curds. They got some bratwurst that is incredible. They got, uh oh, they oh got, I bet it's Wisconsin bratwurst Wisconsin too. Wisconsin bratwurst. You're going to get nothing better. You're going to get. You ever been, you ever been up to Elkhart Lake Raceway in Wisconsin? I have not. The, the, you can smell it. From ten miles oh away, because instead of hot dog stands, they got brat stands. Oh, oh, oh my god! And they got them on the grill, and it's the best thing you've ever had to a lip. Oh my god! That's incredible. Sorry, folks, we got sidetracked with the food. food, food, food. Making me hungry exactly here at here. four a.m. in Kuwait. Oh, well, wow. I bet. Welcome, free stroke. Nice to have you with us, Big yeah, News. Yes, it is. Have you got any bratwurst over there? No, it's a uh, free stroker in PA, Pennsylvania. Are you oh. in the military in Kuwait? You must be in the military. I'm oh, 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 free stroker. <laughs> Butch, I, I agree with you 100%. His name's Phil Tatum. He gets into his emotions are in every shot. You know, a little tidbit on uh, on Phil Tatum. Like I was saying to Mike earlier, Phil used to run, used to uh, tour the United States with Mike Massey back in I think it was the 60s before he actually settled down here in Las Vegas. Uh, I don't know that must he, have been I, an experience. I, I don't know if he wants to be saying this on air, but Phil said to Mike, he's like, Mike, I want to settle down. I want to slow down. I want to be here. I want to stay somewhere. I'm going to stay here in Las Vegas. Mike got upset with him, says, you're my road partner. And he's like, I, I'm sorry. I want, to, I want to be here. Buys a piece of land by, the, uh, by Mandalay Bay for like $5,000 or something like that. I can't even tell you. I don't want to tell you. I can't. I don't want to say it over. But he sold that land for a substantial amount of money. Oh my God! Talk about hitting, hitting the oil strike. Oh, look at the nine ball. Cue ball. No, oh, the cue ball cannot. That's the problem, Mike. You can't let the ball go on these tables. You can't because it's, the cue ball is going to find us. Not its way. only because it's small table, the diamonds run like greased lightning. Yes. Hey, Justin. What's up? What's up? Mr. Everly. Oh, yeah. Max Everly hey. right behind us. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? We got Max Everly here with us. Here. You guys talk. You know each other. I'm going to give Max the, right. the microphone for a minute. Yeah, right. Max is going to sit down. Oh, hey. Max, Justin. How, uh, what happened in your... your uh, we were watching it. It was right next to us. It was. It went uh, hill, hill. Uh, I saw that... Uh, uh, I made a ball on the break. Uh-huh. And I, I made the one, but ended up half an inch short for my combo, so I had to play it safe. And then he kicked in the, the combo, made a nice shot. He had it the... Uh, the Right side of the ball. Okay. To throw it in, and he made, and he ran out. You know, Max, I actually was just talking about you. Uh, a couple, first of all, a couple really? people online just said uh, they want to say hello. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, is that is that uh, Heather Amanda Kurtz? Steve Kurtz's w wife. I'm, I'm guessing based on that name. But uh, hi there. Hope everybody's doing good. Max, uh, there's somebody in this city here that you've been working with and uh there's two guys actually that uh, are huge fans of yours they absolutely love your teaching style and i think you'd be very proud because i'm sure you heard of it already but adam roberts beating jason shaw today 
enormous. I mean, huge. And you're his coach. How do you feel about that? Well, I've, I've, I am very proud. You know, I, I'm, uh, I'm friends with Jason, and uh, so I wasn't rooting against him, but I'm I definitely, uh, uh, he'll be all right. Jason will be all right. Oh, but, yeah, but, yeah. For, but for uh, Adam to beat him, um, definitely uh, tickled for, for him and uh, proud of him and Brian. Brian Miller for uh, yeah. yeah they're they're uh, both dedicated and uh, it's yeah I'm, I'm tickled they love uh, they love you they love uh, powerful pool <laughs> they, they read your books religiously it's it's like uh, you must uh, how do you feel I mean well how, what, what's what kind of goes through, what goes to your brain thinking hey all these people are reading my book all these people are getting better you're like a, an ultimate teacher how does it feel it feels great. I love it when I hear stories about, uh, you know, everything that I'm making, whatever it is, if, when it helps somebody. Yeah. yeah, it tickles me pink. So right now I got the propoolacademy.com, and I'm adding stuff yes. every week. I'm doing a lot of 15-ball runouts, and, uh, I don't know, you know, I got a lot of free stuff. Anybody wants to stop by and sign up, you're welcome to. And, yeah, I uh, thanks. You, you know, uh, you give a lot of uh, on your um, on your website. You're giving out a lot of uh, you know free lessons here and there, free demonstrations and such forth. Yeah, it's an ethical bribe. I, I give you free lessons in exchange for your email <laughs> name and email. That way, I can actually give you a lot of free stuff pretty much every week cool. in, on my blog and uh, special offers on on the stuff that I have to sell. Yeah, you know, so it's an exchange, but. It's pretty cool. Lethal Weapon uh, just said Max is a great person and uh, an excellent <laughs> pool instructor. That's nice to say. What's up, Daniel? Down, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wait, wait. Daniel Bush in the house. I, I have your uh, phone charger right here. Oh, good. Thank you. There you go. Your, your extra. Oh, cool. Very oh, cool. No. Thanks, Daniel. How about this? I'll do a little. Make it spin psychedelically. There it is. PPA, Pro Pool Academy. I need to give you one that has white lettering in case there's a like a black background. Watch that. Oh, no That's way. So cool. That is cool. Daniel Bush, POV pool, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it didn't turn. He's got, a, he's got a big future. Yeah, right? <laughs> Daniel Bush, promoting pool worldwide. Thank you, you, sir. See that. that was awesome. <laughs> All right. Dan, Daniel's having fun here with special effects. It looks good, man. That's cool. I don't, I don't know how to do that. He's now up to the one. Daniel, oh, you nobody saw that? No, you'll see it now. Oh, it's going to do it again? Oh, okay. Okay. Watch. Max, have you heard of uh, Danny, Danny Reese in uh, Las Vegas? Have you heard of Danny Reese? Where is he? Right here on table one with Phil Tatum. Is he shooting right now? Yes. I've seen him. I didn't know his name. I'll thank Kevin Kidd for that. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys get back to your to your commentary. Yeah, um, so, thanks, thanks, Justin. Yeah, thank you, hey, Max. Thank you for giving me a place to crash for a couple of days. Thanks for dropping by, Max. We really appreciate it. Good to see you. Max Everly, Max Everly put me up in his house for the first couple of days I was here, and I'm really grateful. <laughs> Uh, I'm opening up a hotel also later at a later hey, date. Max has a swimming pool, a weight room, a diamond pool table. I'm sure he'd like uh, let to give lessons there. Why don't you call him, contact him through his email address. He's what putting an addition on right now so that he'll have the pool hotel. Max Max is a really good mentor to have in the pool world. So I agree. I agree. You guys need to follow him. Go to ProPoolAcademy.com and check out Max Everly. Thanks for coming, Max. Uh, um, Mike, I just noticed over there on the uh, table number Thanks, sure. Good to table see you, number Max. three, Mitch Allerman from Arizona is playing Al Lawrence. Al Lawrence on the far table. Al Lawrence is a uh, he works for Southwest Cues. He uh, fixes and repairs. He sells. I mean, he does everything for Southwest. He is a local legend here. He's from Kentucky. The guy is a tremendous bank pool player, and now he's playing, and he plays great on these bar box. Mitch Element, again, is, is like a scientist on the table of, of pool. I've, uh, I've heard of him, yeah, but I don't, haven't seen his play seen his yet. Play. This is a real collection of uh, exotic pool players, because you're sure. seeing people that you don't always see at the, at the normal tournaments. It's just, this is really... Max is also sponsored by Peach Hour. 
I mean, I've been just, I, this is the first time I've been here, Justin, yeah. and I'm, I'm taking in this place. UP, I wish we could see the entirety. I'm sure that Daniel's going to go around with his GoPro so you guys uh -huh. get the feel for this place. This is just an intimate setting with, it's just packed with people right now, but everybody is very respectful of pool. I can see that yes. in here. Really understands what's going on. This is just a fun environment. Really a cool deal. You know, they, they have they have three events, three big events. This is their biggest, uh, this obviously is their biggest of the, of the three. The Dock Hill is the previous one. It, that, was, we had, uh, that was the 13th annual Dock Hill, it was last week. That's the one you played in last week. That is correct. This week is the Andy Mercer, and next week, is the fourth Western Woman's Charity Nine Ball Challenge, and that place? Yeah, here. Here again. And uh, every, this town know, really loves pool. They love it. They love it. And I was so excited when I came here because I didn't realize the local pool uh, the local pool scene was this big. This is kind of cool because I'm actually contemplating moving out here. I'm coming out next month to do a real checkout on it. Hello, Tammy from Chicago. Gordy Hill would like to say something to you. Hi, Tammy. I understand you got a birthday coming up. Enjoy the match. Happy birthday, Tammy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Mike, I thank you very much, GTB. Who's this? That was the tournament director just wished you a happy birthday, Kathy. Gordon Hill. Gordon Hill. Yes, Mitch like is we were a saying phenomenal about player. This is a real hotbed for pool. Oh. That makes me really excited. Now if I move out of here, places to play and things you know, to do. They got different, like, uh, to me, honestly, they have this, uh, it's called Southern Nevada Nine Ball. And that's, that league is, I love it. Why? Because there's no handicap. You play at a team, you're one-on-one, -on -one, you play, uh, it's five players, and everybody uh -oh. plays one uh -oh. against each other. Look to your left. Oh my goodness, here's the, the, man, himself. the man himself. The boy from Scotland. The hot shot. The young kid. He calls me the old guy, I call him the young punk. Jason <laughs> Shaw is with us. What's up? Say hi to the folks, Jason. How's it going, people? Hey, Jason's, Jason loves to do what he's doing today. He's already lost one match. Now he gets to go and beat himself up all the way through the loser's bracket. You ready for it? Yeah, I was uh, I was thinking about this too. I'm thinking I like to lose my first match and come through the loser's side. <laughs> I like the loser's side. Give Something me tells me that was a slight fib. Yeah, you, you get to play more matches and uh, get in stroke. Now, listen, uh, race to six, anything can happen. Do you know uh, who you play next? Um, I don't know who I play next, but... Uh, the match I played earlier, I was 3-1 uh, up. The guy missed and hooked me. I kicked, and that was the last time I seen the you know, table. Uh, the guy you played is a dear friend of mine. I play. I, I'm here. We uh, we play a lot of, uh, over in uh, Las Vegas. He's yeah. got a house here with a yeah. not a, a was seven foot diamond in his house. Yeah. And uh, I tell you, you're one of his uh, heroes. And to play you, and uh, uh, just to play you, yeah, he was so happy. I spoke to him before the match, and he told me uh, he'd been watching me, and yes, he really liked yes. the way I play, and he was following me around and yeah. see how I was doing. And yeah. he's uh, he's a pretty nice guy. And listen, uh, he played good at the end of the match, and fair good. play, he uh, he deserved to win at the end. He he took some nice finishes out and broke good, but uh, at the start of the match, he was really nervous. He was shaking, <laughs> and I could see it. Sure. And he told me after the match, but. Uh, I'm on the loser side now, so it's back to the grind and back to the grind. see what happens, see what I can do in San no, Francisco. What I can do you here, what, yeah. Thirteen in a row last time you won. Yeah, to get in and get, yeah. Guess. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, listen, it's possible, but I just think at the, on the bar table and race to six, I think it's even with everyone. I don't think anyone's a favorite. No. You know. Can you give a, uh, a slight description on the table that you played on? How did how did it, how did it play? Yeah, it broke pretty good. The pockets are really, really generous. <laughs> really, they aren't. I, I, I think they're like four and a half inches. Yeah. 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 I, I think one of the racks where he missed the uh, eight ball, and it hit the third diamond down. And it still went in. And it wobbled and still dropped in. I knew it was going to drop, but. Uh, Listen, we're all we're all on the same boat. Sure. We all got the same chance. The pockets are all the same size, so. Sure, yeah, yeah. No, and, uh, you, and I haven't. I, you didn't make an excuse. No, at listen, all. I, you, listen, you know, I'm a good loser. Yeah. I, I don't, I, I don't cheat. I don't do this. I don't, I don't try and shot my opponents. If my opponent played well, then good luck to him. And that's the attitude 
That's the attitude yeah, everyone yeah, should yeah, have. Yeah, and pool, More, you don't see very that commendable. Lot. And then, yeah, it's very commendable. And I, I Jason, uh, my name is Justin Acker. It's my first time meeting you. Nice to meet you, buddy. And uh, it's great to see you. I, I got to watch you, uh, you know, in the Swanee on TV, and uh, you know, it's exciting to watch you play. Uh, love your style and uh, keep up the hard work. Thanks. I just want to say to everyone out there, I'm. Uh, Thanks for the support, and uh, I'm playing uh, Ronnie Alcano at the end of the month on a TAR 32 match, and I would like everyone to tune in and watch a good match. I think it's going to be fun. Jeez, I don't know who to bet on on that one. That's going to be close. Me and Ronnie have played maybe like uh, maybe like 15 times, and I think I'm like 9, nine 6 up, maybe 10. So it's, pretty 10, it's going to be a close one. Yeah, it's going to be close, but uh, he, knows he, he knows it's not going to... Uh, it's not going to be easy for him, you know. Uh, he, he knows that already, and I know it's not going to be easy for me, but uh, it's just... But that's uh, that's what good matchups are for. That's yeah, what you well, live for, yeah. right? Yeah, and I, I really uh, just want to thank Tar and everyone in the Action Report for um, giving me the opportunity to show everyone what I'm, I'm capable of and giving have me you, the chance Have you been to, in that venue yet? No, I'm, I'm going to check it out uh, oh, maybe Monday or Tuesday. It's amazing there justin Kyle, he's he's a, a magician with what he does with the cameras what he that set up it's, you're gonna love it yeah you're i get on pretty it. well with justin and he's a great uh, guy. every time i always watch all the tar matches online but uh i've always wanted to play on there and now i've got the opportunity i'm uh, pretty happy and i've been practicing hard and so I, I just want everybody to tune in and watch a good match, and let's hope it's, uh, it's my time. You know, I must say one thing, Jason. You are a real credibility, and a good addition to the pro pool scene. It's nice to have clean cut, and I mean this sincerely. Yeah, yeah. As a guy's yeah, got yeah. to know you pretty yeah. well. Nice clean cut guy, plays straight up, plays good pool. You lose, you take it, you win, yeah, yeah. you take it. It's good to have you on board. Man. Thanks, I appreciate that. I think a lot of... A lot of players should be like that, you know, because um, at the end of the day, it's a it's a sport. We do it for a living. I don't see why we should be rude to other other pro players or disrespect them. We're all in the same boat. If you lose, you lose. You should be a gracious loser. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be. That's a, a phenomenally good attitude. So that brings me to my final question. Are we playing one pocket on these little tables? <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't giving you 12-5 playing one pocket on a bar table. No. Oh, oh, you offered me 12-5 this oh, time. Yeah. We're down from 11-6 to 12-5. Oh, this oh, is great. Oh, this no, is no, great. This is live. That's, yeah, uh, you're okay, you're you go. You all heard that. He's going to give me 12-5. I think I had uh, too many two uh, blue moons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing till 2 o'clock tomorrow, so I oh, have a day off. So I think I'm going to go down the strip and... There's a couple of girls here I've been hanging out with, so I think I'm going to go down there and oh, nice. go on a few rides, roller coasters and stuff, and just hang out. When you're 24, young and a successful pro pool player, what else are you going to do? Have a great time. Yeah, that's, listen, I, that's the thing about me. I, I don't like. I like to go and focus for a tournament, but I like to also enjoy myself and speak to some people and sure. get to know them, you know what I mean? Because uh, a lot of people... A lot of people just keep themselves to themselves, you know what I mean? I, I, I've known what Shane, Shane Van Bowen for maybe like the last year and a half, and I know he's a pretty quiet guy. The last few tournaments we've been hanging out a lot, we've been bowling, we've been golfing, we've been getting drunk, and Reno we got drunk for a full week, you know what I mean? Like, just hanging out. But it wasn't bad towards our pool, you know what I mean? We, we done it because we knew we weren't playing till late in the day, and we just we were just having fun. Th that's especially when you're young like you are right now. Yeah, you got to have fun with your yeah, life and enjoy and, uh, it. And sure. Shane, uh, Shane sort of, it came out of shell a little in the last year. I think he started to. So you're becoming Shane von Boning's personal mentor. Yeah, um, he's listen. Uh, Shane knows that we're we're good buddies, sort of thing. We like to go golfing and bowling and like to do the same thing. You know. Are you a scratch golfer now already? No, no, no. We actually, me and Darren played um, like three days ago. And the first time we played since last year, and we both shot under 90. So Not bad. Not yeah, it's bad. pretty good. I was using rental clubs, but they were worth like $1,500, so they wow. were pretty good tailor-made. I paid 30, 35 bucks. So you're uh, just under 90? I think we could get down in a, in a golf match. Yeah, but uh, I think me and Shane are going to go gamble at golf uh, <laughs> on Monday. 
we're going to go gamble at golf, maybe play like uh, 50 front nine, 50 back, and 50 overall. So can we should stream that. But I want to try sure. and win my money back from uh, Reno because uh, the last night he beat me for 100 at the bowling. So uh, <laughs> I want some, yeah, hey? I want some revenge. He's he 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 could. Uh, I think he could be a professional bowler. Really? He uh, he spins the ball really really well. Wow. And uh, he either gets a strike or he gets a nine. It's, uh, That's amazing. Well, you know, seriously, you would think that pool players would be good golfers and bowlers since it's all hand-eye coordination yeah, yeah. and it's in the wrist. But he's good at darts, too. Well, that's Got the wrist, really, too. Yeah, wrist motion, really yeah. good at that. But I wonder what Love he's like tennis. at tennis. Are you a good tennis player? Steady. Uh, uh, the, the hustle smile went on on that one, folks. That but uh, I just think that uh, I just think we should all like in the in the pool world. There's a lot of guys and players that don't really interact with well, other players. You know what I mean? They just sure. keep themselves to themselves. And then there's all those other guys out there that like to maybe have a couple of beers and hang out and you know just enjoy themselves. Well, you know that's part of, that's part of the world. I think that's a great idea that you're doing because pool needs to relate to the people more and get people that are more down home and real so that we can get this back yeah, well, as a as a really well-rounded sport. Since I've been in the States, I've been in New York, North Carolina, I've been in Reno, I've been in all sorts of places and when I went to the Hard Times tournament and stuff like that, I like to sort of walk around and meet different people and introduce myself and let them know, you know what I mean? And sure. Well, look what it's done. Everybody yeah. knows Jason Shaw now yeah. in a big hurry. That's what I like to do, you know what I mean? There's a lot of players that just sort of keep themselves to themselves and just plod along, but I... When I come to the States, I could have I could have easily went around and hustled people because people didn't know me, but I'm one of those... I, listen, I, I come from an English eight, eight ball background where I won world championships and stuff, so I know what I'm capable of, so I want to come out and show everyone what I got and uh, show them that I'm a champion and I, I don't have to go around and hustle money and really do it the, the bad way. You, know? you guys all at it. I hope you all have been listening to this little bit interview. This is a real inside into a really nice guy who's a great pool player and just trying to be a good young kid and also promote the sport. We're really proud of you, Jason. Yeah, it's good to have yes. you with just us. That, I, I think it's good because I get this opportunity because uh, I come from like a place that's not really, it's not really a good place, you know what I mean? It's like, what, uh, your hometown back there? It's really? It's like, it's hard, you know what I mean? It's a lot of rough areas around, but uh, I just want to come here and sort of try and live here and make a name for myself. No, it was a... Uh, You're doing a pretty good job of that. Push out, push out. How's the match going over here, Justin? The match is going good. It's it's Right now it's 3-2, to two, Danny. Uh, to get back to uh, what um, Davey Gravy said, the key... You said this guy was Massey's um, uh, road partner. The key word in that what is, is was. And, you know, it was years and years and years ago. But, uh, you know, I think uh, he was the individual that uh, set all the matches up, you know, type of thing. Good. That's perfect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back on the match here. We'll see you a bit later. Make some money. Everybody, that was Jason Shaw there with us. Sorry we took the time away from the match, but I think you got a really nice insight into oh, the personality yeah. of a really rising star in the professional pool. Well was that said. a cool interview? Yeah, I like loved that Jason interview. just opens. He's such a nice guy. Yeah. You don't, well, you don't, see, I was telling you, now you got right. to meet him yourself. I got to meet him personally. He's cool kid. Very, cool very kid. nice. Very, very, very and nice. And you all heard it out there. He's going to yeah. give me 12-5. <laughs> he forgot he was at 11-6 last yes. night. Yes. Free stroke. He was the backer. <laughs> All right. And that was so much fun. It's always fun now. to talk to Jason Shaw. Absolutely. We're back at the match. I'm sorry we turned back on that one to get that interview, but get me up to speed here, sure, Justin. Mike. What do we got going? Uh, well, right now it's it's kind of been a little bit of a battle back and forth. Uh, some some mistakes here and there. It's uh, I, Again, I think it's the nerves. Um, but... Uh, Danny has maintained, a, you know, he's been able to keep the lead. He's up three to two. That's Danny, That's Danny sitting down. Danny sitting down. Still Phil Tatum close. is up. Yeah, three. Uh, Getting a lot of comments here on Jason Shaw. I hope you guys really enjoyed that interview. This is a good kid. I got to tell you, you're going to hear more from him. He's out there really promoting the sport by just being a nice young kid and a hell of a pool player. Jason being Jason. That's what it is. And he That's did it. Jason with a Y. J A Y S O N. That was kind of interesting. He said he came from a tough town yeah. over in Scotland. He never told me that one before. No, I, I read something about him. Uh, He's happy as hell to be over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, he almost cut that nine ball. Davey, I don't think Jason's going to have any visa problems. He's he's a good representative for anything, I'm sure. Shaw versus Alcano. Who's better? Let's see. I beat Ronnie Alcano with the seven and the eight for cash about three weeks ago, <laughs> and that was the best pool I ever played in my life. And I'll tell you, Ronnie's good. That's going to be what? I don't even know if I could pick off. You can't. How do you pick? How? I've seen Ronnie do stuff that was just. I, you can't. And and uh, Ronnie's been around for a while. Uh, Jason's up and coming. And uh, when you heard. They played each other several times, sure. so they know each other's style. That's going to be a hell of a match. You guys right. are going to have to watch that. Mike DeShane is an ambassador also. I haven't met Mike. It's I, good you know, to see we got ambassadors out there. I uh, I got to inter I got to have a I set up an interview with Mike. There's this uh, young gentleman. His name's Irish Brian Reynolds. He's a 15-year-old boxing prodigy. Picked up. He's an ambassador for the WPC, the World uh, or uh, WBC, the World Boxing uh, Federation. And he, um, oh look at this, Phil playing the oh, role. Oh, oh! That nine ball in this corner pocket. Wow. We got a reaction from the crowd on that one. Phil Tatum tying the ball game, uh, tying this match up, three to three. With control, it's got the break. The oh, emotion was just showing. I missed the shot. I'm going to watch it on the replay here. I'm sitting right here. You know, my name is uh, Justin Acker. I'm here with uh, Mike, Mike Brown. Brown. And Mike Brown, and uh, we are enjoying a wonderful day here at the Rum Runner in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's, I, I you know, I thank you, Hello Kitty. That was very sweet of you to say. I. I we are so happy to be here, Mike, and I, I just met Mike today for the first time, and it feels like I've commentated with him forever. You this know, this is interesting. I was thinking to say we, <laughs> we make a good team. Yeah, I do. I love it. I love and it. I'm gonna and shake I got, hand I right got this feeling you and I are going to be playing some pool here soon, especially so. a straight pool player. I think How so. How can we go wrong? Especially if you move out here. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm, now I'm actually... It was funny when I was driving over here this afternoon. Uh -huh. and I finally got into town. I had this really kind of palpitation because I'm going. The thought of moving to a new place. How do you deal with it? Oh my God! <laughs> we're ESPN commented. I don't know. We're better than they are. Come on, you guys. We, I, I want to get into. I want to have some uh, some pool commercials for ESPN. You know, like they do with the the joking around with the mascots. And oh jeez. <laughs> oh man, we should really That'd be get great. this going. You guys keep promoting this POV pool out here. Oh yes. And we're gonna get big and take over the world. All right, back to the match here. We got it's all tied up. Three and three. Phil Tatum's at the table. There's some clapping over here. It looks like Tommy Butler has just defeated Don McClellan, McClelland in six to three. Big clap from the audience. I guess Tom Butler is a crowd favorite. Man, this is a heck of a crowd here. What I tell you. It's hard. I mean, we got a lot of excitement behind us. This is quite. Oh my God! Hung it. Hung it and got. Got safe behind the six. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, some player profiles usually. Thank you, Nine Ball. Oh, look at this stuff. Look at this. Destroy them. Dude, I think we got a new business here. I think so. Well, I, that's why I can't wait for the bonus ball to start up because I'm commentating for bonus ball. I'm very excited about it. I wish I wish we started. When are they starting that up? We're thinking in, in mid May right now. What was that again? Hi, Tammy. Watch it. Watch it. We're playing some pretty good pool here. That was our tournament promoter wishing a happy birthday. Tammy in Chicago, you just got a big shout out. Uh, we we got we got an aside and now no help for the players, gentlemen. We got one of Phil's old high school buddies over here, right off of the commentary booth. These guys are having a great time doing this. This is a fun tournament. Every, we got serious players. Everybody's serious, but everybody's having a heck of a lot of fun. We're having a great time. 
giving this commentary to you. I'm going to scout a couple of players to bring them to you. Perfect. Sounds great. We do work well together. We should do this again. <laughs> We're having fun bringing this to you guys. Yeah, I love it here. You know, this is my hometown now. I'm originally from uh, a place called Oneida, New York. We have the Turning Stone Classic. Is in Oneida life. is upstate, right? That is correct. Central New York. I was uh, born and raised to age nine in Schenectady. Oh, not too far. C H E N E C D. Yeah. Oh, I can't spell can't it spell anymore. anymore. Once you leave, you forget it. C S H E N E C T A D Y. Got it. Schenectady. Perfect. Yeah, and then I moved to Milwaukee, went to school in Texas, and now I'm here. Can I have the mic, please? Yes. Here's Daniel Bush for you guys. Hey, everybody, this is Daniel Bush, POV Pool at the Rum Runner. This is a great event. I'm meeting all kinds of people, but I also want to. Give a shout out to my friend Frank Almanza here, Frank the Barber. Well, I'd like to say hi to everybody that's here watching the stream. This is a great, great tournament. I'll tell you, it's one of the best run tournaments in the country. Time-wise, everything is scheduled real good. It's a nice tournament. If you ever get a chance when you're in the area, you should come and see, at least spectate the tournament. It's a great tournament. Also, Don McClellan's here too. Yeah, hi everybody. Uh, I I lost my first match, but I'm gonna see what I was, see what I can do to come back. That's great. Um, well, for, wait, Frank, come here, come here. Anybody you want to say hi to? Uh, all my fans, <laughs> the two of you that's out there, <laughs> my two sons. <laughs> Let's say hi. Say hi to the BBQ. Oh yeah, BBQ. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised you're not here with the rest of us. It's, uh, everybody's having a ball here. That's right, BBQ. We miss you too, so I hope you're doing well. And uh, I guess this is this a good match? Yeah, right now it's going. It's tied up. It's three three. Uh, anything goes with this. You got a wish high on the uh, feed here, Frank. M seventy nine out. Give him a shout. All right, M seventy nine. M seventy nine. Now, who is M seventy nine? We don't know. We'll find out maybe in a second. Do I know you? Onita familiar with this place I near know. Syracuse. No, it's a different one. I know it's <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Marie. Oh, it's Marie Lim. Oh, okay. Marie, yeah, that's M seventy nine. Marie Lim. She's Happy my sweetheart. Billiards. Yeah, Syracuse. Yeah. Marie Lim, the tournament director at Hard Times Billiards, is in the chat room. How you doing, Marie Lim? She just sent me a text a minute ago. Said she th said the stream was great and the matches are fun. And hell, come on down to the Rum Runner. It's a great uh, venue, and we've got great people here. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel, for bringing over the boy. That's Frank the Barber. We're talking about a legend in the hustle. You know, Mike, yeah. I, I got a chance to play against Frank in the Victorville tournament on these valley tables uh, a couple months ago. John Schmidt's room. I used to be a billiard player. So great to play. I, you know, I, I had such a fun time in that tournament. I, You know, I just there free rolling it, having a good time. And, uh, man, he plays so solid. I mean, I actually think Frank's older than me, if that's entirely possible. That <laughs> and that man still shoots the lights out. He does. He does. I'll tell you. Tell you another great player uh, who's uh, down at the hard times in LA. What do we got here? Joe's Q Repair. Joe Klimchak. You know Al Romero? You allow? 76 still shoots. I would not play him, and I'm playing pretty damn good. That man shoots really well. Just yeah. shows you folks, pool is a game for all ages, and you can still play great when you get older. You got a new number, right? You look familiar. Hi, Daddy. How are you? Good to see you. Mike Brown. We've we've seen each other. Over over in LA? That's where I've seen you. You been down at hard times? This match is still pretty tight here. Ah, it's three three. It's, uh, that's where I've seen it's you. taking a little long. I, you I don't know if we're gonna be catching up with this oh, but this good. match. You did. I think we're, Congratulations. We might be getting behind on this one. Tell me why I'm Okay, I'm back. What are we at? I see uh Mitch Ellerman and uh Al Lawrence over there. Local local favorite, uh fan favorite, Al Lawrence is tied up with Mitch Ellerman, but Mitch Ellerman looks like he might be running out from here. And then right next to us, to our left, 
is Terry Osborne versus the Double J, Jeremy Jones. You notice I'm, no, I'm noticing something right now. I play out at Sal's place uh -huh. in, in Moore Park. And with the diamond tables, they run so fast, you have to be very delicate and precise. We're looking at Phil and Danny play here. Notice Phil is hitting the ball a little harder, which loses control of it on this high-speed table. And Mitch over there on the other tables, and what we saw was Sal uh -huh. and uh, with De uh, Darren. Very soft, precision, precise play is what's needed on these little tables. And that's not that's easy to do, yeah. no, to no, adapt no. to that. No, it, you know, 90% of these players are, are nine foot, you know, nine Absolutely. foot table players. And, and it's hard to make that transition for, for some. You know, for the greats like Shane Van Boning, you know, I've seen him come across, a, for, you know, he went, from, like I said, Rodney before, but he went from a 10 footer to a nine footer to a seven footer and didn't look like he missed a beat. I mean, that's incredible. I, I, I don't know how they can adapt that quickly. Even if you're the best pro, sure. still, you would think there would be some, well, they've probably been practicing on these things. They're not going to walk in cold to a tournament anyway. Yeah. Oh, M7. Or M7 Who are the players NFL? playing right now? That's we Danny have. Reese from Las Vegas and uh, Phil Tatum, also from Las Vegas. Danny's in the black shirt, and this is Phil coming to the table right now. Phil is having a wonderful time. It, it, it's what it is. It's, it's golf on the pool table, and... He just tanked that. He just uh, he just missed it. And F and Phil takes advantage of it. Phil is ahead four three now. That was yeah, four, Phil <laughs> Phil just went up. I mean, it, I think this is a really interesting match for you guys out there to be watching, sure. just to see You're the welcome. difference between how the top players like Sal and Darren were playing before, and now you see a couple of guys who are your regular pool players. They play pretty good. But they're in this tournament having a great time, and you see how difficult it is to adapt what we were just talking about in terms of playing on these tables and also becoming serious. These guys are having fun. They're enjoying themselves being here. They are. But you look at you look at Darren and Sal, they're down for the cash. <laughs> you know, they uh, I, you could see the I guess the focus, the concentration, and it's like when you're in that zone. Your eyes are not coming off that table. Even when you're sitting down, you're not coming off the table. You're, you're zoned in. I know a couple of local players, like Mark Estes was telling me, he literally hates, you know, it's hard for him to play against people he likes because he wants to hate you. And he wants to just absolutely crush you on that pool. That makes like, sense. Yeah. Well, what Sal was telling, Sal's a good teacher, too. He does a lot of yeah. teaching. Okay. And he was just telling me that when we were, t we were talking about pool the other day, and he says, you know, when you get up to a good level, Pool is 90% mental, 10% talent when you're up at that level. Wow. So the focus required that I, I, I'm not saying I'm a great player. I play pretty well. But the night I played Ronnie Alcano, I slipped into some sort of a zone that I hadn't been in before. And it was exactly that. It was a mental zone. Nothing else counted but what's on the table. You didn't think about the other guy. You just got into it. And you can see right here with, with Phil and Danny, they are aware of the crowd, uh -huh. they're having a good time, and yet when you saw Sal and Darren, what did you see? A hundred percent concentration, just exactly what you were talking about, Justin. This is a good example of everything. I love these little diamonds. I played on one of Sal's little tables out there. After you play on a nine-foot diamond, you get on these little babies, and it's like, oh my yeah. god. Now, do you think so what do you have? Well, there was a little issue with the table. Uh, they just uh, solved that issue. There, one of the balls got stuck, and now it's all ready to go. Yeah, they got. Uh, sometimes these diamond tables, a piece of chalk will fall in the middle of it. It'll hold the ball up. You know, and it's it's just little things. But these diamonds, they're they're basically low maintenance. You know, and, and except for little things like that. When the when the chalk. You know, falls. I had that happen at Sal's. One of my uh, tip protectors, when I was putting it on the shaft, slipped, dropped down the hole. And everything funnels into a central area down there, and the whole bottom is closed. I had to open a trap door and become a contortionist, and I actually <laughs> managed to find it. Nice boy. Look at the ball spread on that. Yeah, I don't think wow. he one, He didn't make one. And Phil Tatum could not take advantage of a 4-3 lead there Justin, with his break. Yeah. I'd like to be at the table right now. Yes. 
You know what it'll remind you? I sent you the, the uh, I, I put the post up two days ago. Did you plug you this do. for Vegas, local Vegas? Yep. Yeah, Joe. Joe Kong, Joe. He's here tonight. You know, I just thought, uh, I'm giving a local shout out, uh, actually a plug, to Joe's Q Repair. It's Joe Klimchek. He's a local player here. He's great with the with uh, table uh, with the tip replacements, the ivory ferrules. He can put on the one or two piece cues. He can do anything: Irish linen wraps, leather wraps, Mori tips, and more. He's got everything. If you're in this area and you need to know, its number is two nine two fifteen fifteen. That's two nine two fifteen fifteen. Joe's Q Repair. Joe Klimchak. He uh, he'll be here this entire tournament. Mike Mike, he's here. Every tournament in Vegas that we have that's in uh, of any importance, Joe's there. That's really nice to have. You yeah. know, you've got some you, you have some assurance that somebody can be there, can take care of a problem. Sure, and probably good a good player as well. All right, so how do I match up to Sea Biscuit? Are we talking about a horse? <laughs> Who's Sea Biscuit? Who is Sea Biscuit? B Bacon, Ross. Hang on, just a second. No, the one with the bright red hair. I'll get Justin? Yes. Who is Ross? Ross, Ross, Ross. Oh, out at Sal's place. I don't know this guy. I really don't, honestly. Um, I'll have to ask Sally. He'd be honest with me. He can tell you. I just got as soon as I see him, I'll uh, I'll ask him, and I'll get back to you. You broke a ball. No, no. You must have a powerful break, free stroking. All right, we're back on this match here. We're having a good time. We don't want to take away from all these matches. I kind of like the layout on these balls. Now, for me... Man, that's pretty good. Right back down for that deuce. And it clogged the table up. What was it, on a, on a diamond and went down? Well, that takes care of the one and the two in a hurry. One and the six. I'm getting the twos and the sixes mixed up here. From this point of view, they don't, they're in shadows, so I'm having trouble seeing them. That was good shape. Phil is starting to calm down. Let's see if we can get out from here. <laughs> Phil's on fire this game, folks. Now let's see if he can pull it up nice and easy for that five in the side. Looking good. Uh-oh. I hope he can see that around the nine ball. Can you see it? Nope. This is great. I get feedback from the audience. They're telling me if I'm right or wrong. I love it. He might have the edge on that thing. Valley Bar Box. Oh, hell yeah, they break up in there. That was, ball was probably made out of clay, for crying out loud. Phil's playing pretty good this game. I think he hooked him. Or, yep, looks like he's got him. If you can see it, the best you can do is see an edge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. That's cool. You still have that cue ball. That's pretty cool. You know, they're, they're talking about breaking balls in tournaments and stuff. Way back in another life when I was younger, I was second in the National Collegiate Tournament. And I lost it because I hung a 10 ball. And what I did after the tournament, I'll even tell the truth on this, I stole the 10 ball, and I had just got myself a 67 Camaro stick shift, and I drilled and tapped that 10 ball, put it on the gear shift to remind myself what happened about hanging that ball for the rest of my oh, life. Oh, that's great. That's a, that's a motivation for you. Exactly. Oh, he took a shot there. I mean, just clipped the side of that fine ball. Now he's got Phil Tatum seems to have a wide open table. I think Phil's getting uh, getting some steam in this match. Let's see what he does right here. A little follow, a little spin, pull it in for that seven. He's getting some confidence level. 
Justin's calling Rodney Morris over for a little talk. I get Rodney's got a little. He's got to run out, do a little quick stuff, and he's going to come back for a little interview. Cool. The Rocket That'll Rodney be excellent. Morris. Justin snagged Rodney for us. We'll see him in a little bit. You know, I, I uh, personality wise, like Rodney, Rodney Morris would. Like literally, I'm I'm not lying to you. I like uh, it was it, got, it gets cold here in Vegas sometimes, you know. And uh, it was January and it was kind of cold. And I was at the studio and I needed to go somewhere, out and I needed to be outside. And uh, for like a substantial amount of time, I didn't have a jacket. And I'm like, oh shoot, I got to go home and get my jacket, you know. And Rodney's like, takes the jacket off his back and says, oh, just take mine. And I'm like, all right, I'll give it back to you uh, later. No, no, keep it, keep it, keep it. I have I have two of them. And I'm like. Okay. All right. Thank you. How you cool know. is that? Pro right players and real oh, people. Yeah. Pretty far out story. I like that one. You know, it's interesting though. <laughs> Rodney said I met him up at the Eto and talked to him a little bit. Nice guy. What do we got here? Yeah, that's right. You never, <laughs> never forget the shots it cost you. And by God, that was forty years ago that that happened to 40 me. Forty years ago, and you, yeah, you still have that Camaro? No, I got stolen. <laughs> The red raspberry iced tea? Yeah. Is that it? I don't know. Yeah, it's you. Oh, it's, oh okay. that's a nice Sorry. tea. Iced tea? Just so I didn't mean to suck out of your straw. You want another Coke? Yeah, sure. Daniel's serving us today. This is kind of cool. He's out there working hard. Yeah, he's running around. And, uh, what are we still at? 4 3 here? We are 4. No, we are 4 4. I see it. Tied up We're match. Four, four. And this could put him. This could catapult him. Not after that. Phil Tatum, right here. I'll take Phil that Tatum, layout. Yeah, he needs to take advantages here, Mike. No, put nope. the nerves aside. Put the emotions aside. Just get out here and make these two shots and put this game away, uh, this match away. A little bit off the rail. Well, he, he's, he's looking he's, good. He's looking good, but he's, he's playing timid, though. And I, You know. There it is. Five to four. Phil, Phil Tatum is Phil on the on hill. The hill. Big claps everywhere around. His fan base is going wild. I don't know if you can hear that. There he goes. His, there his entire fan club is sitting right here in front, right of in front of us. The fans are Tulsa, excited. Go, go, go. Yeah, go tell from Tulsa, Oklahoma, all the way from Tulsa. Yeah, That's fans cool. here, Tulsa, Oklahoma, coming all the way out there. Beautiful city. I've been there uh, a couple times. I, 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 I love it. I love I have Tulsa, too. Oklahoma. Nice yeah. place. Although that's, the that, uh, that's Mike and you being in the same, uh, I, you know, we're kind of the same one in the same here. I, traveling for pool isn't it exciting? I mean, you get to see so much. Love it, absolutely. I'm having. I'm. A, I have not had the opportunity up until recently to do this. Oh, okay. And I got together with Daniel, and I'm doing photography. I have obviously talking right now, but I'm going to be shooting images of this stuff all the way down the line. Yeah, he was saying uh, Michael Brown Productions, is that what it's called? Or Michael Down? Yep. Uh, Michael Brown Digital Productions. Digital but Productions. You guys have seen some of the stuff, and Daniel will probably be popping them up right now. We're going to be making an entire series of posters of this stuff, and uh, I wish I could pop them up right now and show you guys, but that's what that's what I've been up to, Justin, ah. is following the tournaments, and what I... What I'm finding, it's interesting, I've been, a, I've been a professional photographer for 30 years, and I started out as a motorsports photojournalist, and if you know your sport, you know what's coming, and you anticipate. Sure. So shooting pool, shooting pictures, let me rephrase that, shooting pictures of pool is very simple, because you see a layout, and you know exactly where someone's going to be, and that instant... I'll have to show you the shot before Please. it's over, and everybody here. I got a shot of Jason. It was a turning point in the match with Arcoyo down at the Swanee. And I like, when how, he had, you say, when he had I like how you say Dennis's name correctly, Arcoyo. I like that. Well, thank you. On. Thank you. It's not Arcoyo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, at any rate, he had to jump a ball, and they couldn't use Good jump cues. And he missed the jump, missed the ball, hit the ball with the uh, with the cue ball. Hucker, Hucker, it's good night. And I got the shot with the cue ball a foot and a half off the table, the seven ball six oh, inches man. off the table, and and uh, oh, Jason is just oh. wide eyed, knowing that he missed the shot, sure. which cost him. Oh. At any rate, back to this match. We got a good match here. Oh, speaking of jumps. Was that a good time? Did he make the jump? I, 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 I think he ticked the six ball. I think Should he did be ball too. Should be ball in hand. Yep. And it there it is. is. Ball in hand. Takes ball in hand. Uh, that's uh, Danny Reese. 
Danny Reese is the other player with Phil Tatum. That's the only machine in Vegas that you win at. It's the ATM. Yeah. Hey, um, are you guys going to get match updates? Just check. The Rockets in the background. I think that uh, Justin's going to have Rodney Morris here in a moment. What's um? Just give a little. Hey, Jeremy, we, on this other table, we got Jeremy Jones is up three to nothing against uh, Terry Osborne. Mitch Ellerman is up four to two against Al Lawrence. On the far table, Walter Glass is winning. Is actually tied up two to two. I cannot see who Walter Glass is actually playing. Don't know. We're going to take a little time out from the match while it's going on here. Rodney Morris is here. Justin, you want to take over? You guys know each other really yes. well. Rodney, the Rocket Morris, welcome to the Rumble. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rodney, you know, uh, I hate to say it, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to jinx you or anything, but uh, the last three turns, you've been playing a marvelous. Third place has been the highest you've gotten, but you've been getting it every time. Now, what do you yeah. think it can catapult you? to get in first place. Oh no, I'm just taking third every time. That's what my that's what I'm trying to do this year. Just get third every oh. tournament. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. That's all I'm, that's all I want to do. I'm aiming for third. You that's know a bold mean? strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on my third child. I'm trying to you know, <laughs> cut my hand off so I only got three fingers. Oh. You know what I mean? Very He's saying this with a straight face too, people, if you could see it. <laughs> this is what I do. No, I mean, you know, you can't You got two, you got two kids and one in the one in the pocket? Well, no, I mean, I'm just fat. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I deserved that one. No, no, the uh, yeah, I got a few, a few children. Yeah, 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 that I know of. Ronnie, you're living here in Las Vegas now, huh? Yes, yeah, Viva Las Vegas, but the king is back. The king is and back. He's alive. Now, what do you think uh, compared to like mid '90s? Do you think you're practicing more now than you've ever did, or I know you're hitting balls a lot. Are you, are you practicing more? Or what, what's going on with you? Yeah, I've been practicing. Yeah, you got to put in the work. There's no substitute, you know. So I've been uh, frustrated over the years with uh, the direction pool's been going. So I kind of like let myself get, you know, where I didn't want to play anymore. Sure. So I kind of, you know, I had to uh, get the love of, love of the game back. So, what, what do you think got that love back? Uh, having no money. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and not eating. I was like, oh, I gotta I gotta fall in love with this game again so I can win and eat. That's great. Uh, so uh, yeah, so I'm broke. I'm hungry. Well, I don't look like I'm hungry. I look like I just yeah. ate, but <laughs> I'm uh, I'm starving to win. I need to win and play good. Mike, Mike, do you think you and I should uh, you know pitch in for a hamburger for this guy or something? I actually think Rodley has another career as a stand-up comedian. Yeah, exactly. I miss we, my calling for real. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you, Rodney. This is going to be a personal hitter. I've seen a couple of the last tournaments. When you're on, there's nothing like it. You're just on, you can see it in your eyes, you can see it in your demeanor, and you just fire through them. But it seems to me, from what I, my point of view, that when something goes wrong, you have a tendency to just check out. Is, is that accurate, or is that only what I see from the outside? Uh, check out. No, I'm trying to win all the time. I'm trying to do the same thing I got when I started. But uh, I noticed that uh, these last few events that I played in, you know, they're grueling. You're just sitting around all day, you know, playing like uh, a couple of them. You just you don't know when you're playing, so you're sitting around. You might play now. You might play in three hours. So I noticed. So it's kind of hard to get your head back into it. Exactly. And then uh, like the last one, uh, the Chet Ito, uh, I was on the winner's side, so I kept playing one match. You sit around for two hours, play another one. Then you know, so you go you're adrenaline up, down, up, down, and then you're sitting around waiting, and then. It's kind of, I noticed that part, and that's why, you know, I made, uh, I'm making, uh, you know, concerted effort to get in, you know, in physical shape better so that I can, you know, last more, because I feel like I just got drained at the end there just sitting around waiting, and I don't like to wait for nothing. That's an interesting point, and Jason, for example, what the hell, he loses in his first match, and he gets 13 in a row to stay focused, so there's a little, almost a good, good thing to be on the downside. That event there was a blessing to be on the, you know, on the, the guys playing all the time. So he got to, he never had a, uh, a, you know, any breaks in between. He just got to play. So the arm got nice and loose there. So it was, uh, yeah. So that 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 helped, you know. And I won a lot of tournaments, uh, uh, you know, from the one loss side, losing the first match, and that was the reason why. Because you get in stroke. There's oh, so no it keeps you in stroke, keeps you focused. Oh yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. So and you can't take, I mean, you know. Losing to Bustamani, Dennis Arcolo, Jason Shaw, I mean, you can't, I can't, I'm not going to say, oh, I lost. No, they won. You know, they play great. They're great players. Oh, that, that's a good point of view because everything I've seen from you in the last two turns of Swanee and Ito, you didn't make any mistakes. It's, it's just what you said. If you, if you make a mistakes, it would be a different story. But when you're playing well and get beat, hey, it happens. 
Well, if you if you look at that table too, the Chet Edo one, especially the uh, uh, I'm left-handed, so I break from the right side of the table going in. Well, the guys that were breaking from the left side oh, were the oh, balls oh, were going oh, oh, in. Oh, oh, he just won uh, nine ball on the break. Hill, Hill, Danny Phil Reese snaps oh the nine, and Phil Tatum is gone to the one loss wow. side, and just like that, it's over. Mike, wow. you, you never know. Danny, Danny, Danny was in breaking. I was talking. I was talking. Oh uh, my God! Yeah, speaking of that, I was just talking with uh, Darren Appleton and a couple of the guys. Uh, what's wow. happening here is because of the magic rack, the two ball is coming off the back rail and and coming into the nine. So you notice all the nines are getting kicked up into the corners. So they shouldn't play. I mean, at least they should do is make the rule where the nines not doesn't count in those top corners because that's what it's. It, the two balls hitting the back rail, you know, the short end where sure. you rack, and it's whacking the. I did. I made it two times. I'm supposed to make it another two. So I was supposed to have made very it four interesting times. point of view. It has to. It has to because uh, every match there's at least one or two nine balls on the break, and they get kicked. The two ball kicks it up in one of the corners. You just heard that one, folks. It's very interesting because we were talking earlier about that magic rack in the match with Darren and Sal. Darren's doing the soft break and getting all sorts of balls to go, and uh, Sal was doing the hard break and getting nothing to go, just getting it empty. How are you breaking on these? Easy or hard? I don't know. Whatever. I tried a couple. Well, I broke them head on, and uh, I was making the nine was getting kicked, and then I felt bad about it, so I started cut break. I was like, I don't want to keep making you the feel nine. Feel bad about making the nine ball? I don't know. I mean, that's. I guess that's that's not the way that you really want to win the game, right? It shouldn't count, you know. That's not, you know. Yeah, you know, what are you gonna do? But uh, I, see, I noticed somebody on the chat was asking about the Seminole tour. Yeah, of course, that was great. Especially when I was living on Florida, that was that was awesome, awesome tour. Great people running it, you know. The Seminole tribe, you know, they did a lot for pool. So of course, we'd like to have it back. But I'm, uh, I'm getting ready for bonus ball, baby. Bonus ball, there's Mr. Bonus ball. Yeah, we'll be. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on when's the bonus ball starting up? Uh, well, it's all construction, so you don't. I mean, it's like asking when is my oh, house going to get finished. Oh, they're built? making the stadium yeah, right now. I yeah, saw yeah, a sketch yeah. of that uh, yeah, yeah. on Easy Billiards the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's. Uh, yeah. yeah. I thought you guys had filmed some preliminary. Uh, yeah, they did, but but it was a it was a, a mock uh, setup there. They just they just threw it together and then they had to break it down. The real set is going to be amazing when you see it. That's it's, right here. Uh, That's right here. Yeah, right. To start yeah. this match. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, guys. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to get ready to play. Thanks very much for dropping by, Rodney. Good to see you, my man. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Sorry, Rodney.